Health officials say the heat has put extra pressure on hospitals, but so far they are coping. Some older hospitals have taken the decision to cancel routine outpatient appointments and non-urgent surgeries because of the very high temperatures in operating theatres. Our health editor Hugh Pym has spent the day at one hospital in South London. A memorable day for Cade and Cavorm, and not just because baby daughter Adea had arrived. Born this morning in a heat wave, they'd brought in their own fans to try to keep cool. I had my mum fanning me with a handheld fan. I had my husband holding the fan right up to my face because I was sweating as I was pushing. So it's, it's a lot of adjustments we've had to make, but <laughs> we've made it. It's given the Fantastic. Water. And we're going to go in the ward now, aren't we, with it? And Here at St Helier Hospital, extra drinks for patients to keep them hydrated were being delivered. Dahlia was one who was relieved to have a regular supply brought to her bed. There's always cold water for it, and they put ice cubes in there. When they, they change it and put ice cubes in, lollies, ice creams. But dealing with the heat is very difficult. The buildings predate the start of the NHS in 1948. There's no air conditioning. As we're standing here now, this actual prefab building, it's a bit like a greenhouse. So it's additional temperatures, despite all of the windows and us trying to do everything in our power to reduce the temperature. Staff needs to be continuously hydrated. Our patients have to be hydrated. So tiring very, very easily in these extreme temperatures. It's the middle of the day and it's already 30 degrees here in A&E. The heat has added to the extreme pressure seen in units like this and increased the strain on staff. Hi, so another busy day. Yeah. Doctors here are concerned that based on previous experience, a heat wave can store up problems which last more than a few days. The impact of heat on long-term conditions lasts for many days, even when the temperature has dropped. So we're anticipating an increased number of admissions and attendances today, but we will continue to see the impact on our services of this heat wave for 10 to 14 days uh, forward. Just getting some for the sixth floor renal department. Ice lollies were free for staff at the hospital, and some were also taking them up for patients. They're complaining a lot that it's very hot and stuff. The windows aren't fully open, but ice lollies will treat them. NHS England said almost all services had continued to run, but they know that tomorrow will bring more heat and further challenges and pressures. Hupim, BBC News at St Helier Hospital, South London.